read the Gospels. Don't start in Genesis in the Bible in the beginning. Go three quarters of the way through to the New Testament, the first four books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, because that's the eyewitness account of Jesus of Nazareth. How he lived, how he treated people, what he taught ethically, how he died, praying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Man, I'd have been saying, God, nail those suckers for nailing me to a cross. Not Christ. He prays, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. But fourthly and most importantly, in those Gospels, read about how three days after he died, he physically, bodily rose from the dead. Now, this Jesus who rose from the dead said, I love you, God loves you. Guess what, George? If you die and rise from the dead, I will listen very carefully to everything you have to say. Because the evidence is you're in touch with reality. All right, that's exactly what Jesus pulled off. He died, he rose from the dead. And so when he says that God loves you, and that God has a future for you that includes eternity when you put your faith in him and accept that invitation that you talked about so beautifully at the beginning of this show, Wow, you, let's open up and let's receive him into our lives as our Savior and Lord.